Hello and welcome back to Growing Together. Today we have a heartwarming book to share with you. We're going to explore the wonderful world of Be Kind by Pat Zico Miller and read it aloud. So, let's dive into this touching story of kindness and empathy. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday. All over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did, too. But mom always tells me to be kind, so I tried. I don't think it worked. I said, purple is my favorite color. I thought Tanisha would smile. But she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Maybe it's giving. Making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi, who lives alone. Letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. He might win races in them, too. Maybe it's helping, putting dirty dishes in the sink, cleaning up after Otis, our class Winnie a pig. He's a messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention. Telling Desmond I like his blue boots. Asking the new girl to be my partner. Listening to Hunt Franny's stories. Even the ones I've heard before. Being kind should be easy. Like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle. Or saying, Thank you, bless you. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hey Carla. What's new Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mandelbaum. Being kind can be hard, too. Even when you know what to do. Teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky. Even when I'm patient. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard. And really scary. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class. And paint this picture for her. Because I know she likes purple, too. Maybe I can only do small things. But my small things might join small things other people do. And, together, they could grow into something big. Something really big. So big that all our kindnesses spill out of our school. Spread throughout town. Travel across the country. And go all the way. Around the world. Right back to Tanisha and me. So we can be kind. Again. And again. And again. As we read Be Kind Together, we explore the impact of simple acts of kindness on others and ourselves. This book beautifully illustrates how a small gesture can brighten someone's day and create a ripple effect of positivity. There is a link in description to buy this book. So, grab your copy of Be Kind and join us in spreading kindness and empathy. Thank you for joining us today on Growing Together. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with other parents.